dear young learners, how are you? Hope you are fine. By the grace of Almighty Allah, let me introduce myself. This is Nurun Nahar, lecturer, Department of Economics, Milestone College. Today, I am here with a new chapter of Bangladesh and Global Studies, Chapter 10, Sustainable Development Goals. Let's start the class. Welcome to the first lecture on Chapter 10, Sustainable Development Goals. From today's session, you will be able to answer the importance of partnership in achieving sustainable development goals, the results of achieving sustainable development goals. You can identify the challenges of achieving SDG. You can also be able to explain the actions needed to address challenges of achieving SDG. The United Nations is committed to explore everybody's potentials, dignity and equality. United Nations has a target of 17 challenges to convert an underdeveloped country to developing or a developing country into a developed country. It has been trying to achieve sustainable development goals comprising the elements of economic, social and environmental development. What is partnership? A group of people work for and enjoy the benefits of any development are partners. It means having the same goals, same objectives, people having same mentality will work together to achieve something is called partnership. Why partnership is important in achieving SDG? Actually, the main aim of sustainable development goal is to build support networks between developed and developing countries. Working together is the only way the sustainable development will thrive. That's why partnership is very important in converting an underdeveloped country or developing country into a developed country. Another importance of partnership is as the SDG included 17 ambitious goals that focuses on building and improving partnership between PPP that is public and private partnership or academics and regular people or countries and international organization. So partnership can be developed between the government sector and private sector, the academics and regular people in between the country and international organizations. In this way partnership can help in achieving all the 17 ambitious goals of sustainable development. Now, in this topic, I will show you some points as probable results of achieving sustainable development goal. If a country can achieve the 17 targets or goals, the country will be able to get the benefits of the followings such as the poverty line of the country will be brought to almost zero that is the country can go below the country will be able to eliminate poverty from its own second point is about the basic needs like food clothes shelter health, education and entertainment will be made if a country can achieve SDG. 
the third point is regarding women repression it has been said that women repression will reduce due to gender equality and women empowerment when a country can ensure female education and expand the scope of occupation for the female then the country will be able to establish gender equality and women empowerment the fourth point is regarding health environment for healthy living will be created through supply of clean pure drinking water sanitation facilities in both rural and urban areas of that country next point is regarding the loss of different natural disasters like flood drought tidal surge cyclone river erosion will be minimized due to the rise of renewable sustainable energy agricultural and industrial production will be increased if a country can achieve sdg next point is regarding anarchy situation of the country if a country can achieve sdg anarchy will reduce and stability will increase through justice in the society that is pure justice will be established in the society and people will remain in that country in peace and harmony political instability will reduce by strengthening democratic institutions if a country can achieve sdg last of all social economic and political problems will be resolved through the expansion of partnership with the other countries of the world so mutual understanding between rest of the part of the world can ensure the achievement of sdg of a country our next topic is regarding the challenges of bangladesh towards achieving sdg let's have a look at the picture my dear students you can see there are 17 segments which belongs to the 17 challenges of sdg of bangladesh the first challenge of bangladesh towards achieving sdg is no poverty that is poverty will be eliminated and reduced by taking or developing the economic and social infrastructural facilities zero hunger that means no people of the country will remain hungry third point is good health and well being health facilities will be ensured in both rural and urban areas to achieve the sdg of the country fourth point is regarding ensuring quality education for both male and female children and also for the mass people gender equality means the male and female both will get same rights and privileges in achieving education and occupation next challenge is ensuring the supply of clean water and sanitation facilities for both rural and urban areas number 7 is regarding affordable and clean energy that is power supply should be ensured in both rural and urban areas so that the mills and factories can run well and go for more production in for development decent work and economic growth is the next challenge of the bangladesh number 9 is regarding industry innovation of new scientific inventions and infrastructural facilities should be ensured in the country next point is regarding reducing the inequalities between the rich and the poor 
my dear students as you know the huge discrimination or disparity between the per capita income of the people of the country creates inequalities if the country can reduce the discrimination or inequalities between the income distribution the country can achieve sustainable development goal sustainable cities and communities this is point number 11 next point is responsible consumption and production system if in a country they can reduce the inequality between the income distribution then consumption and production will be ensured climatic action is another point that the climatic change and increase of the temperature is bringing different kinds of problems and natural disasters in the country so if we can take climatic actions and save the environment free from pollution then the country can go towards achieving SDG our next point next challenge is life under water as you know different species are living under the water so we must ensure their health and also so that they can survive we have to stop using chemical fertilizer and different types of insecticides life of land life on land can be ensured by reducing soil pollution peace justice and strong institutions is another challenge for achieving sdg partnerships for the goals it means in a country the government and non-government organizations will work together as a partner for achieving SDG so that they can arrange maximum situation or maximum solutions for the people of the state. Let's see the challenges of Bangladesh towards achieving SDG. First of all, I want to discuss that sustainable development goals are the structured plan. As you know, we have 17 challenges for the total or holistic development to earn highest success. So the main objective of SDG is to ensure universal welfare all over the globe. In order to attain equality and development in the world with no disparity or discrimination between the rich and the poor of a country, the sustainable development goals have to be achieved by 2030. So this is the main objective of sustainable development goals of Bangladesh. So the remarkable challenges for SDG are three unequal distribution of resources unequal distribution of resources actually creates the discrimination between rich and the poor as you know the rich persons of the country are getting more rich and the poors are becoming more poor so a disparity situation or discrimination is created in between the income distribution of our country it results poverty what is disparity disparity of wealth and resources means unequal distribution of income that creates acute poverty due to the increasing gap between the rich and the poor let me discuss this as in a our country run a mixed economic system so some part of capitalistic economic system ensure the exploitation of the labor the person who is the owner he takes more part of the production as profit and giving low salary to the laborers in this situation there is a huge gap between the profit and the wage of the laborer it creates a discrimination between the rich and the poor 
so the owner is becoming more rich and the laborer is becoming more poor here are some characteristics of disparity the increased acute discrimination and divisions are barriers against sdg of bangladesh so if we want to achieve sdg in our country we have to remove the unequal distribution of income in our society second one is the more the disparity ensures more division between the rich and the poor so the division between or discrimination between the rich and the poor can the hamper the success or achieving sustainable development goal so we have to minimize the division or disparity between the rich and the poor of our country third characteristics is a section of people is becoming immensely rich by grabbing the lands rivers forest or even capturing the financial institutions of the society so a small number of people is capturing all the wealth and resources of the country and a huge number of people are having not having anything so this is also another characteristics of disparity which is a great problem in achieving sustainable development goals in our country thus an imbalanced society is being created and the environment is damaged especially due to environmental pollution our country is facing lot of natural disasters like flood cyclone tidal surge etc disparity of earning that is income consumption and gender even regional disparity could bring challenges in achieving sustainable development goal regional disparity means the rural and urban area the people of urban areas are getting more facilities regarding education job opportunity health facilities etc but the people of rural area are in backwardness so this is also one of the example of regional disparity which also one of the problem in achieving sustainable development goals my dear students we are about to finish our lecture regarding today's lesson you have some questions to solve so you will take help from today's lecture in solving these five questions i hope you have enjoyed the class i welcome you all in our next session of the same chapter in our zoom live class thank you for your time see you soon in our next class allah hafiz